Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking into today's video. We're basically just going to be doing a feeding video for our tortoises again, but a little bit different than usual because we're going to be feeding our forest tortoises mice because it is a common misconception that they don't need any protein but if you look at where they're from in the wild they eat a lot of carrion they eat a lot of fruit and they eat a lot of fungi so we're just going to be explaining why and how we feed them and we'll be right back in the next clip <laughs> guys we just set up all the bowls on the table right here and we're gonna show you we only have arugula left for the week so that's why this is literally just all arugula but that's fine we're just giving everyone a handful of it just drop some in there and I just wanted to show you the two different calciums we like to use just to calcium dust all the vegetables. Uh, there's this Zoomed one, Reptocalcium, and then this Lugardi Ultra Premium Reptile Calcium. So it's watermelon. And it's watermelon like flavored, I guess. It has like watermelon extract. Yeah, so we're gonna dust it and then we're gonna show you the rats that we're thawing. So as I sponsor me, please. <laughs> as we were saying, we have I'm being really careful because it's there's holes in this tub but we have the mice to thawing in here for the Colombians the Brazilians and just the regular red foots and he's gonna explain why we feed it to them so in the wild all forest tortoises they come from a very nutrient rich part of the world they're from the Amazon they're from dense forests across southern Asia um, some dense forests in Africa where they find all these dead animals you know, things die, there's a lot of fungus, these are all high protein. So, when they're in captivity, when people are only feeding them greens, when they're only feeding them arugula, lettuce, or like what we're feeding, if they don't get the mushrooms in, they don't get the fruits in, they don't get the, the like, the carrion, um, you're not mimicking their natural diet, and they're not evolved to only eat high fiber things. So, things that do eat high fiber things that we never feed really mushrooms, very rarely, never feed fruit, never feed carrion, uh, leopard tortoises, Herman's tortoises, sulcata, um, our Sri Lankans, <laughs> our pancakes, they don't eat that stuff in the wild. They come from grasslands. They come from where their primary diet is just fiber. And so that's what you have to understand the difference. And I think in the tortoise keeping, like the pet side of tortoise keeping, people get that misconception because um, when you're at a store, they have Herman's tortoises, they have sulcata tortoises. Uh, and they have Russians. That's like the three main um, tortoises, at least in America. So they they don't see all the, the different species, the different diets. So like, for example, red foots are more of a slightly carnivorous, whereas when you get into like Ilongata, they are a lot more heavily carnivorous. They eat a lot more, um, I mean, they're not heavily carnivorous, but they eat a lot more carrion compared to red foots. And then you get over to the Canixies in Africa, and Canixies, you want to give a protein source almost every day. I mean, we don't keep any Canixies yet, but there's just, you have to understand the different parts of the world they come from and what they've evolved to eat, not just what one species evolved to eat, and then you categorize all tortoises in the same, same lump, so really research the different tortoises you get especially if you get forest tortoises because their diets vary so much yes so that is why we're feeding them mice and we're gonna go ahead and show you feeding everyone else
to them on their food platter now and I'm obviously not going to show it for the sake of I don't know how to blur things out. So I'm going to be back when they eat it or if they eat it. This is their first time eating it so we're going to see how it works out. They're all juveniles. So yeah. Um, let me... Maybe. Wants to be fed too. Maybe just put them by it see what they think about it. They'll figure it out but yeah. I'll be back if they eat it. He's jealous the torts are eating first. You jealous? You want food? <laughs> you want breath, please? <laughs> so these are our Brazilian cherry head tortoises. Um, there's their mouse right in there. Uh, they've eaten this a couple times, so they're used to it. Um, we always try to make sure they have protein, whether it's worms, mice, rats. So they'll probably eat that. They've eaten bigger rats. They ate uh, a medium rat that one of our, bi our ball pythons refused, so they'll finish that mouse, no problem. So these are our redfoots. So this is their first time actually getting a rodent. They get a lot of worms and a lot of... A lot of worms, a lot of insects. Um, they get a lot of mushrooms, a lot of fruit, but this is their first time actually getting a mouse, and as you can see, they're on top of it, and they're eating the little arugula we gave them. So we'll let you know if they eat it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below what type of videos you want me to film. And yeah, till next time.